Welcome to the demonstration on how to apply a combat application tourniquet, or CAT. The combat tourniquet is a life-saving device used to control bleeding in the extremities. It is a critical tool when bleeding cannot be controlled with direct pressure alone. Let's go through the steps of applying the combat tourniquet. We keep at least two combat tourniquets on every ambulance at HCEC. One can be found in the cabinet behind the captain's chair, and the other is in the side pocket of the jump bag. First, route the band around the affected extremity. Pass the band through the slit of the buckle and position the cat two to three inches above the bleeding site, directly on the skin. If using the cat on the upper extremity, place it proximally on the upper arm. Pull the band tight and secure it back on itself using the Velcro surface. The cat must be snug around the extremity. Twist the windlass rod until bleeding has stopped. Windlass should not be turned more than three times with each turn defined as a 180 degree spin. If more turns are required, the tourniquet was not tightened enough when initially applied around the extremity. Lock the rod in place with a windlass clip. This will prevent the band from loosening and ensure that bleeding remains under control. Secure the rod with the strap by adhering it tightly to the windlass clip. This will ensure that the rod does not come loose and the band remains in place. Finally, document the time of application. The receiving hospital staff need to know how long the tourniquet has been applied. When applying a cat, remember not to place it directly over a major joint, such as the knee or elbow. Also, do not place it over heavy clothing or full pockets, as it may not compress properly. If the tourniquet is properly placed and fails to control bleeding, apply a second one directly above the first. Route the second cat in the opposite direction relative to the first tourniquet. If a non-credentialed provider, such as law enforcement or a bystander, has placed a tourniquet, assess the need for the tourniquet and confirm appropriate placement. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to apply a combat application tourniquet. Remember to reassess hemorrhage control after patient movement or with changes in patient hemodynamics. Thanks and stay safe.